Hey, my man hooks me up. What's up? What's up, world? It's your man, the one and only Mr. Sam 44. Man, y'all people know who that is. That's Dialante. He's in the house with us today. And you know, I'm waiting on Spanky. Spanky, where's you at? Get your ass up here, man. Come on. Where you at? Where you at? We got to know where you at. I'm about to set it up. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be on the air in a minute. That's cool right there. Comments is about to come up. People about to see a player. Now when you look, just like look this way. At this chair. Okay. At your chair? Yeah. Okay. So while they're seeing you, you see what I'm saying? Okay. I'm very close Where to your position page. is. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, let me call this thing. We, we already got that hooked up. Can I see a place I'll call? Hey, where you at? Oh, you about to be pulling up? Okie dokie. Uh, let me come on down here and get ready to welcome you. All right. Well, I don't know why you got that shit hooked up and you still got that shit connected to it. With no call coming through. it. Oh, my Bluetooth? Take my Bluetooth off? Oh, that ain't no problem, bro. Oh, no, leave it on. Leave it. Just fine. <laughs> I just thought about that, Glenn. I surely wasn't thinking. I surely wasn't. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to get this man on here, man. All right, get to the off. Yeah, my man, he do a pretty good job. I just started letting him do my hair because I just didn't have time today. I was like, man. Shit, I, what that nigga do? We cut it and put some goddamn... Uh, I shaved my head and shaved me up. Like you put some penny yeah. shine on your motherfucking No, I, I did that myself. <laughs> I, went to, I went to the crib. So, shit, I'm good. good. Shout out to you. Chaz, my man. Golden Touch. You got it. He be packed, man. No lie. He be packed. Jam, jam back. I'm telling you, when you go up in there, you better have your patience and don't have a little kid. I mean, bro, you got to get in there. And if he got to wait, like, you gone because there's so many people and you come back and he didn't already bypass you, you got to re-sign up again, bro. He ain't playing. For real. Nicole, how you doing, baby? I didn't say you didn't tune into my show. I see you tune in. Let's do uh grab the sound check. Testing. Go ahead. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, testing, one, two. What the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> test. <laughs> we about to go live, y'all. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulty sometime, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. <laughs> so you got uh, one more guest, is that it? Yeah, just one more. Okay, sitting there, okay. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing real good. I appreciate it. I'm I'm doing good. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. That's what my people for. I'm going to try to do a good job tonight, y'all. No, I ain't going to try. I'm going to do a good job. I wish you get all that garbage from me. What, what, what I got in the way? 
Is that mine? So in front of you just look like the junkyard. Okay. So I said here in about what, 10, 15 minutes? Shit, I hope he's sooner than that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say fifteen. It won't be like it's probably five minutes. He said he's close. Okay, um you're you're asking how you can tune in to listen besides uh meet live. Okay, you wanna go to ventradio.net. V E N T radio dot net. Or she can go to YouTube and view it live. Right. You know, you can go to YouTube, but she's uh, she's looking at me live, but she I guess she wants to hear me on the broadcast. Yeah, but that's why I told her to go to YouTube because she can hear and see you. Oh, well then okay. hey, you can do it both. So if you're at the crib, you can hit me up on uh YouTube live. And also, you can hit me up on VentRadio.net. Now, don't forget the phone number. No, tell her to go to YouTube and search Vent Radio, one word, and it'll take her to the Vent Radio. Oh, okay. Just search Vent Radio or on YouTube. On YouTube. I'm, yeah. And then you'll be good it's to one, go. one word? Or is it separate? Yeah, on YouTube, it's one word. Okay, Vent Radio. Vent Radio. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me go check Spank out. <sighs> We got 
They just give me a call. Call day, find out if he know where he is. If not, uh, we'll just have to catch him when he come through. Let me see. In ten, ten minutes. He said what? Just say ten minutes, maybe. I get it. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate all y'all out there. This. <laughs> Hey Dave. Hey, what's up? Hey Sandman. Uh have you got in touch with Spankman? No, I haven't talked to him since we did that three-way call. You talked to him yesterday or today, didn't you? Yeah, I've already talked to him. I just wanted to know how far he was from the station. But I don't like I said, sometimes if you have a transportation issue and I don't be rolling with him every day. Oh, okay. You D Leonte said he'd have picked him up too. So well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm I already got fans calling in right now. The phone lines is blinging. Well, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Keep going so wrong. Let's talk about it. Deleonte is there. Keep it moving. Yeah, we are about to. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to give him. He, ten minutes. I'm, gi I'm, giving, I'm giving him the 10 minute route. All right. These are the things, ladies and gentlemen, you have to go through behind the scenes. Sometimes people are not always punctual as we know. But um, your man's not going to hold it up too much longer, but I am going to throw some things out while I am um, looking to see if I can get in touch with him. Don't forget, put it on your calendar, okay? December 16th. You want to be at the Midwest View uh, Video Awards with your man, one only Miss Sam, 44 man. I'm going to be down there, and we're going to make sure that we have a good time. And make sure that you got your people ready, and it's going to be in red carpet edition at the Senate Theater, 6424 Michigan Avenue. So make sure you be there. The Midwest Video Awards with your man, one only Mr. Sam, 44 man. We're going to be down there. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a very, very good time. I hear y'all calling on the line, and I just haven't started yet, but uh, I will be pulling up in a minute. So just bear with me just a little bit, because I know y'all ready. <laughs> I know what y'all ready for. Believe that. I know what y'all ready for. My life is taking so long to post up on the phone. Yeah, I know what they ready for. They ready they ready to find out who's gonna get this money tonight. Who's gonna get this? Who's gonna get this? Who's gonna get that real life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we got that. Now y'all know y'all can't get through. So I don't want to hear no shit. I couldn't get through, Sandman. Yes, you could, because I'm hearing the phones ringing. I'm just not on the air with it yet. Question Do they still have that that uh that all you can eat uh, pasta or something? No, they had the uh, all you oh, can eat pasta. Red Lobster? Yeah, they had I, the all you can eat pasta. I don't know. Shrimp. I don't know. They made order that with that car. <laughs> bring them some, some aluminum foil. <laughs> they better get something. Seriously. <laughs> Do what our grandma used to teach you. Baby, bring you some aluminum foil with you. you go to all you can eat restaurants. Also, all of y'all out there, y'all can go check out the uh, stage play. Two can play at that game. 
which is going to be October 20th and 21st at the Music Hall Center, 350 Madison Street in Detroit, Michigan. So you probably want to go check that out. And we also got the thugs and the women who love them. And that will be presented uh, Sweetest Day, Saturday, October 21st at 8 p.m. at the Fox Theater. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster. Dot com, Olympia Entertainment dot com, the Fox Theater, and Joe Louis Arena box office. So you can also charge by phone at 800-745-3000 if you uh, are interested in getting to that. Thugs and the women who love them. So, you know, stand by. I'll be putting that back out on the air soon. So uh, just as soon as I can figure out what is up with Spain, um, this is the cat we're waiting on right here. This cat right here. Three one three. Nine, so zero three. Zero two zero nine. T J. So how y'all been doing out there? Everybody's trying to call in to me right now. And uh see what's going on. How y'all been doing out there? Everybody's doing pretty good. Taking note to everything. Yeah. Ready to kick off? Yes, sir. Stand by, y'all. We're about to go in and do this. Spank come through. He can come through. But I got to get this show on the road. One minute. Let's blow the night to download your internet. Hold on. It's coming. Okay. Back. Stand by. Detroit Raw Live. Coming up at you. Even that show on the fast, make some stuff go fast. It was going slow as heck. I'm like, come on now. Can you see yourself in this camera right here? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to go straight to it. Because I was posting, my posting was going slow. Okay, there you go, it posted. Okay, so now I need to go to live. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Ready now. Stand by. What's up, Facebook? We're going live in a minute. What's up, what's up, what's up, world? It's your man, the one and only Mr. Sand, 44 man seen and heard in over 202 countries and provinces around the world. And you're tuned in to the Detroit Raw Show live right here on VentRadio.net. How y'all doing out there? Hey, it's another Thursday, another round of bullshit, and we got it all covered for you right here on Detroit Raw Live with your man, the one and only Mr. Sand, 44 man. Hey, don't forget... Put on your calendars, December 16th, 2017, the Midwest Music Video Awards, a red carpet edition at the Senate Theater, 6424 Michigan Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Make sure that you get your votes in. Make sure that you get your videos in because it will be a night to remember. And you and your mans and everybody down there will be down there. And, uh, hey, we hope to see you down there. And also, you want to make sure that you vote. That you vote. Make sure you vote now because that's going to be a, a, a 
very important part of what's getting ready to go on because see you will be the ones that will be the one that um is in charge of the votes one of my boys called me today or texted me today and say ah sam what you send me this for well because i was trying to tell you what was up i'm looking out for you you know what i'm saying well i ain't in it damn well you gotta get your people you got to build your own thing. I mean, I'm only plugging you because you my mans. What I'm supposed to do, go and get your fans and, and vote for you too? <laughs> I ain't got no parts to do with that, man. But, you know, got to get out there and do that work. So, you know, you, you, you'll be all right. But um, <laughs> shouts out to all my fans over there. Good morning, Tokyo, Japan. Good morning, uh, Philippines. Good morning, everybody over there in the Eastern Asian area. And, well... Top of the morning to you out there in Dublin, Ireland, my man Jerry out there. Everybody in the UK that's tuned in to you, man. This is Sam 44 Man's Detroit Raw Live. It's a good morning to you, but early morning. Hope you stay up with me for this next hour coming up. In the house today, I'm right now I'm standing by for uh, Spanky Haynes. He's still out there in them streets trying to make his way here. But right. my man D. Leonte is hey, in the hey, house, hey, ladies hey, and gentlemen hey, around the world. How you doing, Leonte? What's up, brother? What's happening with hey, you? Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, welcome to Detroit Raw Live right here on VicRadio.net. And um, yes, yes, you down here with your man, one and only Mr. Sam Forty Four. Man, how you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great. You know, when I was asked to come down here, I just ran right on down. You got your fans, everybody plugged in, hey, everybody, every, right. everybody out there ready to sing. Hey, what's going on, y'all out there? If y'all want to talk to him, call me up, 248-429-7224 or 313-585-4639. You man, Mr. Sam, 44 man, Detroit Raw Live, give him a shout out. Tell him what y'all want to get into, uh, seeing what he's doing. And uh, right now, I'm going to ask him a couple of little questions about... Uh, <laughs> we were talking. <laughs> we were talking before the show, and uh, he was telling me about my grandbaby, Fat Baby. Right. He loves Fat Baby. Yeah. He's like Deontay, something else, man. Fat <laughs> Baby, man, he is something else. And his yeah. name is Deontay, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Deontay, you right now. My name is Deontay Miles. Yeah, my y'all got to go on his page and check out his grandson. His grandson is that uh, he is a star. Yeah, he, he actually is. He is too much. I swear to God, he swear to God, but. Some of the things that um, everybody might not know, mm-hmm. how you got down out here, um, okay. what it is that made you in the status that you are right now, um, Man. and how did you get started? Some of the questions that we want to know. So Man, oh man. Um, we know that you've been out here on the circuit. Tell us some of the stuff that you that, that you have done in a company. Now I started Mm-hmm. And yeah. I start. Man, well, first of all, you got to start off with believing in yourself and believing in God. That's the first thing first. Mm-hmm. And for those of you that ain't grow up with your, your actual father in the house and stuff like that or whatever, you got to find you somebody that you look up to in order to uh, sustain your, your dream that you're looking for. So that's what I did. So I watched a lot of characters on TV and stuff like that. And I started out um, I started out uh, when I was 12. Well, actually, when I was younger than 12. Mm-hmm. I had everybody... Uh, come out and uh, my cousin and stuff like that to uh, come out and uh, perform. We needed to make some money at the time. Mm-hmm. So my cousin was really, was all upset with me. So I had it, had it down to the, to, to, to the max. I had everybody come out and uh, perform. I had the time on, on time. What time you go on set? I went down the street and guy gave everybody like tickets or whatever, two hours of paper or whatever, told them five dollars. Do you know the people actually came out there to see us perform? That's what's up. Block, you know, and I was amazed then. And I knew then that it was just something different, you know, that, you know, that I can, that I can do to the world far as change. And from that point on, I started out um, uh, writing songs. And at 12 years old, I wrote my first song. And I got to Milan in. And then Milan helped me out with my, with my uh, you know, my self-esteem and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to build some kind of self-esteem up, whatever, whatever you want to do. Right. And then um, I just got out into the modeling world. And then I discovered... Um, you know, I discovered some people, and they discovered I could sing and act and model and do all kind of stuff. So now, world, you, you shit, you got more jobs than Zam Steve Harvey, man, ladies and gentlemen. This man is a recording artist, model, actor, 
singer, yes. songwriter, and red carpet host. host. Yes, sir. So y'all How the hell you do up. all this? You know what? I've always been this animated kid. I've always been this person where it's like whatever lane you put me in, I can just really adapt to it. You know what I mean? I've always mm-hmm. been a real, really creative kid. Um, I've been in college and stuff like that. I went to school for performing arts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I just realized, you know what? I got to expand myself because I had so many gifted things that God gave me. And I couldn't understand what was my problem. I said, why do I get all these different things going on with me? You know, I know I do this and I do that. Mm-hmm. And they say, well, you're only supposed to focus on one. Mm-hmm. But with my situation, I feel like my one is everything that I have to offer. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's whether it's modeling, if it's hosting, if it's music, I like putting a hundred percent to anything that I do. Mm-hmm. That well, that's 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 what it's all about because you know, um, being out here is is uh, a real competitive business. It's, it's rough, you know, and you never know where the, where the cake may fall. Right, <laughs> and and you know, I'm 52 and I've I've been doing this for since I was like in high school at Detroit Central, and that's been like. Years or so, and I went to uh, Go Lightly okay. Vocational Technical Center up there oh, wow. on okay. uh, Dickerson and Jefferson in Detroit. You said, baby. Yes, sir. I was right off Jefferson <laughs> Chalmers, baby. Shouts out to all of my people out there on the east side. Oh, um, and and you know, I was out there, and just the, the teachers. Even when I went to to uh, Specs because I grew, uh, graduated from Specs Howard. Oh, where? You went to Specs Howard? Yeah, I graduated from wow. Specs. And the, the the teachers were more or less like, oh, you can't break off into big business music and right. television. You right. gotta go to, right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta go to Oklahoma and be with the cows right, and bring right. it. Fuck that. I wanted right. to know I can be in the city and, and know my community and know what, and so that went straight out the window with me because I was right. like, man, miracles can happen. Yes, yes. You yes. see what I'm saying? I ain't Overnight. had to go to Iowa or none of them places Overnight. right here. Yeah. I may have to put some time in, but hey, everybody know me here um, as well as around the world because I travel all around the Midwest. I'm everywhere and I broadcast everywhere. I got like over 400 and some thousand views on the views that I've done off the shows. Yes. So I know how long it takes you to to accomplish yeah. that, but did you start with um? Let me ask you this: Did you start with like an agent? You know what? I started out with um, a couple modeling agencies to call it out there, like the I Group, uh, you know, the I Group and Production Plus and stuff like that. You uh-huh. know, those are some of the agencies that I um, I was with or whatever at the time. Okay. And I met I met a woman that was um that was a friend of the family, and she she struck interest into uh, my talent. Mm-hmm. You know, she kind of brought it out or whatever. So. If anybody out there got anybody that, you know, that's on your team and on your side that's rooting for you for your talent, whatever gift you may have, keep them real close to you. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, you need to because yeah. uh um having people uh on your team. that's that's on your team that can yeah. guide you, like, you know, Glenn is on my team. Right. And even though we we, we like Two brothers. He's six years older than I am, right. and it's like knucklehead. You ain't oh, listening to what I'm saying, right? You knucklehead. You ain't listening to what I'm saying. You hard headed, man. And I, I know I'm hard headed. Right, I do. Right, I do. Right. But it's like when you've been doing something by yourself and working on it, it be kind of hard to digest it. You you want to listen, but it's like damn. But I can do it like this. And yeah, is right. it working for you though? Yeah, you have. To and then you gotta be like, damn. Yeah. is it? You know, so yeah. yeah, I understand about especially if a person, a, a person that's coming in to help you is great at what they do. Right, that person be great at what they do. You right. know what I mean? You, right. You, you may be great on 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 speaking on the mic and engineering work. Another person may be excellent with the camera. You know what I mean? Right. You can't direct everything. You right. You know what I mean? Right. Let a person do what they do. Let them shine and let them let them help you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's 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 just my you know my family trend about you know it's about helping each other and stuff like that. And helping helping to bring whatever you have to life. Now, have you um, have you made any any um, songs recently, yeah. lately? Yeah, I'm work right now. I'm currently working on my uh, my EPK, uh, working on that or whatnot. Um, I just performed uh, this year, a couple months ago, at the Aretha Franklin thing that they had downtown or whatnot. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I had only four days. I recorded a song or whatever. And matter of fact, the song was called um, Material Girl. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. I recorded this song in four days, and some 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 uh some producers and some friends and the father of one of the guys in Juju on that beat, the beat that I was telling you that I was in. Um, y'all can go check. Oh, out. wait a minute, you was in what? Yeah, Juju on that beat video. Yeah. Oh, did y'all know that world? Yeah, so I, I played the, um, basically the big brother, you know, the gamma man, basically what they would say back in the day. Right, and, right. Um, but anyway, um, the father of um, one of the, uh, the, um, the liberals, whatever, that's in the, uh, the actual video, one of the artists, which is Dan McCall. Mm-hmm. His father and I, is we really cool, is like a big brother to me. Shout out to um, Mr. McCall and Timothy, yo, 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 yo. And the Juju family, but anyway, he was, um, you know, he he heard the song and he immediately said, you know what, Dillian, say I want you to perform that song. So I'm like, wait a minute, I got four days, bro. What do you mean perform this song? I got four days. So I was under a lot of pressure, and I had only two days to rehearse and stuff like that. And um, I'm gonna try to get you guys some footage, you know, of the song of my performance and stuff like that. And you can see how hard I really worked or whatever. I didn't really know the song, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go rumble with it. And I, I there's so many people that's been talking about that, you know, what I'm saying that moment. Right. And that just really made me, you know, realize like I had that short length of time to really put a song together, write it, put it together, and actually do the choreography with the song. And with the boys, will have to stay busy. Like I always, a creative person always have to stay busy. Like staying within his art. And it seems like to me that nothing can ever compare, you know, my happiness of of being able to being somewhere involved and to create some kind of art. I don't care what kind of art it is. As long as I'm busy doing it, mm-hmm. I can I can do it all night. You okay. know what I mean? It, we can sit right here right now and just pull out some paint and say, yo, bro, Deleon said, let's paint right here. Hey. What's up, y'all? What's I'm going to I'm 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 let Deleonte say what, what it is. What, what is it, man? Red Lobster. Hey. Or hey. right there in that camera. Right there. <laughs> See if they got the... Um, I think they got the, the, the pasta special or something with the shrimp. I don't know. I ain't been here in a while, though. So, I don't know. They probably still got that pasta, though. But with this gift card right here, though, y'all need to call in. And let's see who's going who gonna to be the winner of getting this card right here. 248. It's your man, the one and only Mr. Sam 44 Man. And Detroit Raw Live presents Let's Spend Some of Mr. Sam 44 Man's Money. This is going out to my man out there at Golden Touch Beauty Salon right there on um, 13711.